Hello and welcome to this subject presentation on the Cambridge National Enterprise and Marketing. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mrs Jones and I'm Head of Business, along with my colleague Mrs Richardson. Both of us have worked at Notre Dame for a number of years and both of us, before we became teachers, had a lot of experience working in different businesses. So why would you study enterprise and marketing? Well, this course is designed to give you a knowledge and practical skills of enterprise and marketing. Enterprise is all about you starting up your own business, coming up with an idea, researching what your customers might want and developing your idea based on those opinions. Marketing is about how you encourage people and persuade people to buy your product. So this will involve you coming up with a pitch, a bit like Dragon's Den, for you to promote your idea. This slide just gives you a little bit more information about the course itself. It's a Cambridge National, that means that it's the equivalent of a GCSE. And as you can see, the course has two parts to it, an exam, which is worth 50%, and coursework, which is worth a further 50%. The course is divided into three units. You start with the practical unit where you'll carry out market research in order to design your product and meet the needs of your customers. You will also have to price all of the resources that you need and draft a final design for it. Next, you'll move on to the written exam. And this is worth 50% of your final grade. This covers all of the main points about business, such as finance, marketing, the type of businesses that there are, risks and rewards. You'll sit this exam normally in the summer of year 10, with an opportunity to resit if necessary when you're in year 11 in January. The final unit is involve you now taking your design and your idea and pitching it to a group of individuals, normally people within your class or myself or Mrs Richardson. You're promoting it with the hope that people would want to buy the product if you were to produce it. This slide just gives you a little bit more information about each of the units. For example, it tells you that the exam has a number of multiple choice questions, short answer, and also questions requiring an extended response from yourself. There's a number of skills that you develop with any course at GCSE, but in business, there's a lot of practical skills that you'll learn, particularly design and creativity skills, because you'll need those to develop your product. You also need to pitch your idea to people, and that involves you developing communication skills. You'll need people in your group to help you come up with your ideas, and this will involve teamwork. There are a large number of resources available, both in the department and online. So, for example, there's obviously laptops for you to use in school. There's a number of course textbooks and notes for you to develop. There's also um, business review magazines and plenty of news websites, Tutor to You, BBC Bite Size, all of which will design to help you and get you through the course. We try to use business visits, both out of school and bringing visitors in. In the past, we visited Chester Zoo, Liverpool Football Club and also Manchester Airport. These are designed to give you a real insight into how businesses operate in the real world. If you require any further information about the course, please don't hesitate to ask either Mrs Richardson or myself and we'd be more than happy to give you some more information. Thank you.